Hello, this is Telecom TV. I'm talking with Hanen Garcia, Senior Telco Manager at Red Hat. Hanen, good to see you. We're in the studio here in London. You are in Montreal in the cold. We'll try and warm you up. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for having me. And yes, it is a bit cold here today. Let's get into this. The 5G cloud native demo is an outstanding exercise which demonstrates open source technologies in action. Can you tell us about the proof of concept? For example, how long did it take to build and what was the end goal? Yes, absolutely. Um, you know that uh, th this was a, a this proof of concept uh, that we did at KubeCon was uh, really an amazing experience. You know that we have been working uh, on for many years already on the VCO project on the open community uh, with VCO one and two uh, that we did last year. This year we decided that it was time for bringing uh, 5G and bringing as well a cloud native infrastructure into the picture, and this is what we tried to to do. Um, it took almost four months uh, to build that uh, proof of concept. It was quite a complex, uh, as we have many sites uh, across the world. Uh, the, we have more than 80 people working uh, during those four months on that from different uh, organizations, more than 14 organizations um, working on, on, the, on the proof of concept. Um, I will say that that was a really exemplary uh, manifestation of what open source communities are capable of. And beyond that, the willingness and the mass of people working, uh, not only including companies, uh, partners, and, um, and open communities, uh, but include as well operators that were looking into giving us requirements and what needs to be done and, and, and what they were expecting uh, to happen. So that's that proof of concept and all these people around and all this uh, willingness uh, shows us that this is important for the industry. Uh, regarding the goal, uh, well, making the 5G call uh, was certainly important, uh, but Beyond that, um, the fact that we could make a baseline for what uh, cloud native infrastructure for 5G um, will look like is more, it was more of the goal for us. We are in a phase today where microservices architectures and container technology are being adopted by the whole industry. Um, we know that operators are looking at uh, cl cloud native architectures and, and infrastructure to deploy the 5G networks. And I believe that 5G, in fact, will be a determining, determining factor for adopting those technologies. Thanks, Anen. Second question, why is it necessary to adopt a cloud native strategy for 5G? Well, there are many reasons. And um, from the top of my mind, I can take the, for example, the flexibility, be able to deploy workloads anywhere in the network, wherever it's going to be on the core network, on the radio access network, central offices, uh, the scale, take advantage of the, uh, of the footprint of the containers uh, to scale in and scale out dynamically uh, across the network, resiliency, uh, that's you know, you can leverage the, uh, the, the boot time of containers uh, to restore services in a matter of seconds. Uh, the lifecycle management that is natively um, part of Kubernetes and for state of stateless uh, network functions or services. Uh, there is as well operators in, in Kubernetes that allow uh, that lifecycle management for stateful uh, services. Leverage the infrastructure for both the network and application that's gonna leave, uh, gonna give uh, operators or um, or CSP the possibility to, to increase the profitability of the networks and their infrastructure. And we are seeing that CSP are moving into the cloud native infrastructure and 5G will only increase that cadence as uh, 5G deployments are going all over the world. Thank you. So there are many reasons to adopt a cloud native strategy. That's, we know that now. How do you build such an infrastructure? Yes, um, there is three things that we have been uh, telling to many customers as we have been through this uh, over the time, over the years. Uh, since we started the NFV journey, um, 
we have been seeing that it's not only the technology evolution that's uh, in need and effort, there is uh, as well the process on the people. In the case of the proof of concept, we have the people, uh, we have more than 80 people working on this. Uh, we have the process as we have been working on this for, for a very long time. Uh, it was a very agile process to do that. And, um, and, but beyond that, uh, there is the ecosystem. Okay, uh, since the NFB uh, journey start uh, at Red Hat, we have been focusing on building the ecosystem of partners. And uh, this is what we came through when we build this kind of infrastructure. Um, you know, get, getting together uh, more than 14 organizations, 14 partners uh, to build that infrastructure, it wasn't done in one day. Uh, this is something that we have been building for the last few years. Um, and the fact that we will be able to do this proof of concept was the demonstration of that the ecosystem is there and is working. At Red Hat, we have been working with partners uh, over, over the last uh, year, trying to move uh, the technology into how to adopt the cloud native um, technologies on into their product. And uh, what you saw at the at the at Kubecom is basically the result of that um, process. A last question to you, Hanen. What will VCO 4.0 actually look like? <laughs> Thank you for the question. I get that one very frequently uh, since the proof of concept. Uh, there are many ideas out there. I can tell you already, uh, the community have already uh, given input on, on what need to be done. Uh, we are thinking about day two operation. We are thinking about convergence, uh, fix and mobile convergence. Um, but I will leave to this. Uh, we will be listening to the community, especially to the, uh, to the communication service provider that are are uh, part of the community and to see what the most pressing concerns are. Um, I know that the operational is key for them to be able to deploy and leave uh, production environments uh, with that technology. Uh, but again, we are in the community, so we are open to ideas, we are open to requirements, and I look forward for operators to, uh, to jumping into the, uh, into the project and uh, make this VCO 4.0 a reality as well. Hanen Gassier. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for having me.